Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo, Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the sun on the 23rd. That is just a little bit of news, that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra. Uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi virgo this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of august and your first card of the week is the three of swords now a lot of people are scared or frightened oh no i haven't got the three of swords well since i had the shadow lands i look at the three of swords in a different way although the heart is pierced with three swords and it means loss and sadness or bereavement um, I look at it as an, in another way that you might have indeed lost something you might have lost your uh, self-respect or your self uh, trust or your own faith besides that you might have lost a friend or a loved one that could be a person or a pet you have lost a job or your house due to the COVID and the circumstances surrounding everything don't worry and don't hide your emotions like in the Shadowlands it is a crow wearing a chain with heart on it and he's wearing sunglasses don't wear your you don't have to wear your a heart on your sleeve and you don't have to hide your emotions like on this card it also has a dark side and a light side just be yourself and talk about it with somebody that is dear to you that has upset you and if you've lost your, your faith in yourself or others then make sure that you talk to somebody that can help you to gain faith in life and uh, people and everything surrounding it time will heal and especially if you talk about it and you don't hide your feelings and a beautiful card you've got to clarify it from the Lenamon you have the six of Pentacles so that is my six of diamonds that is the card of reminiscing and thinking of the past and in your childhood days and that you can know that's the six of cups really but I do think of this as well you're thinking perhaps of the good old days and the six of coins means that somebody might be helping you this is my gift and share or share and share alike uh, card as if you are more fortunate you'll be giving a listening ear or a gift of material gift to somebody like money or you could be giving a helping hand because especially with this card around they might have lost let's say their house and they found a new place to live so you're helping them perhaps to move home by giving them a helping hand by lifting things or driving the truck who knows and you've also got two and two means coming back in your balance but if you're less fortunate then some uh, you might be receiving a helping hand or a listening ear from somebody that will lighten your um, loss or your sadness of loss midweek we have the three of Pentacles you are getting recognition for your work you are no longer the apprentice people are recognizing you and want more of your work especially if you're an artist or a carpenter or anything like that perhaps there is a firm that is seeing you and that you've worked hard and that you're qualified to do the job and they want to hire you so don't be sad if you've lost your job there will be another one you might even have more choices more than one okay and then we have 15 the bear of the linamon 
and uh, 15 becomes a 6 so you're getting definitely back in balance in midweek you are in balance and here you have the 10 of wands the 10 of clubs an ending to difficult times don't give up now persevere because the beginning the new beginning is there like I said you've got recognition so people are seeing you somebody around you might be jealous because you're getting an offer of a job you've got a new start they don't know how you do it but the bear like you can see the bear perhaps better like this the bear stands his ground and he's strong and he's large and he's determined to get what he wants and to protect what he loves and you've got the shape of the bear but here with the light side you can see the face of the bear you've paused like the one picture is that you're standing there pausing thinking and the other picture in the picture is you are looking ahead of you what it is like I said you might have more than one choice luck is on your side and you sh and sometimes in decks you see ca a castle and here you see ice pentacles or the divine light shining down on you so that uh, you might get help from an institution or a municipality on Friday you have nine yes you have had sleepless nights you've had a with the ten of ones you've had a heavy load to bear perhaps you might be responsible for the family um, to bring in the money to maintain the house etc etc but you are there you have no worries at the end of the week because the new beginning is here and then we have the Queen of Wands the Queen of Clubs she knows what she wants and she goes for it like you do or like you've done but this could also be that you are meeting the queen of wands there's two sides to this card as it is the snake the queen of wands is Leo but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius she might have been of help to you in finding uh, your way to get a new house or a new job or it might be your new employer or it could be somebody that is the jealous person in this card okay so be careful there is a snake in the grass if you are signing contracts look at the small print so that if there is a jealous person around you it could be a fire sign then we have the two of ones dominion dominion the two of ones means partnerships so if you are forming partnerships and uh, there could be it could be a queen of fire a Leo or a Sagittarius Aries then make sure that they are trustworthy and that they're not the snake don't partner up with a snake if you hear the word but if or but then this is what I'm hearing take note don't do it don't have any doubts make sure you know all the little details that is what the snake means okay you are with the two of ones you are making plans for the future so you might be planning to get together with the queen of fire but something is not in order then you have the Queen of Spades and that's the Gemini uh, Libra sorry but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius you've got number nine so that's an ending a new beginning this could be an ending with the air sign or with the fire sign or it could be a new beginning now something will become clear to you because the Queen of Spades the Queen of Swords she stands for communication wisdom and honesty 
clarity and justice. She won't move until something is definitely clear. And she could be helping you sorting things out, getting the truth out, because she cuts straight through to the core and cuts the BS, and she'll find out who the person is. By the way, the Queen of uh, Clubs is number seven, which is good luck. So good luck is on your side. You've got good luck in the beginning, and you've got good luck um, at the end of the week. So you can start making plans for the future. Whether you are going to partner up with somebody in business or in love. Okay. Now, then we go on to the Avalonian card. And uh, these are beautiful cards. And here you see a woman with the sword. The magical sword. The sword of the river or the lake. And she is called the law keeper the law keeper because the sword stands for truth and the wheel of course stands for the wheel of life going on to the next step the key words to this card is truth balance justice precede precedent morality advocacy activism meditation clarity objectivity living in the right action that is what this card is the queen of swords those are all the words that she stands for precedent justice balance truth morality advocacy activism she'll fight until she dies on your behalf if need be meditate to get clarity she can be very objective and sharp which might hurt if the truth gets told Okay, the truth will always prevail. The divinatory meaning is the presence of the law keeper's signals, the need for balance and requires service to your inner truth and the outer world. In the outer world, it is time to look at what is before you with as much clarity and objectivity as possible. If the vision is clouded with fear or limited by emotional attachment to the outcome the underlying lesson will not be learned so listen to the warnings there is a snake you must get clarity and be objective don't let your heart rule your mind okay get out of your mind don't be said air it That which you want and that which you need are often not the same things. Wisdom comes with knowing the difference between the two. People, events and situations have come your way for a reason and whether you can see the pattern and that led to this moment or not. The lessons before you are perfectly timed for where you are in your personal process. That you stand to learn is more important than the event itself, and it is how you choose to handle a situation that determines the response from the universe. Living in right action, both in as its concerns manifests the authentic self, as well as working in service to your community, is imperative, especially in the face of resistance seeking balance must be reflected within as well as without for there cannot be one way one without the other be impeccable with your word honor your commitments and respect the process of your soul's unfolding so learn your lesson if you've lost a person through fighting or disagreement or jealousy then talk to them or talk about them if you still can always work with a pure heart and luck will be returned to you in threefold if you do bad it will return to you in threefold be of service the six of pentacles to others or your community okay keep a clear mind 
get clarity, get the truth. Then you know where you stand. Then you won't burn your fingers. Know your boundaries, know their boundaries. And that's the Queen of uh, Fire that I'm talking about. But it doesn't only concern uh, the fire signs, it concerns everybody. With the Queen of Swords, be clear and be concise. Be um, quite regal in, in, in effect with the Queens. Like Be like a Queen, regal. Have the business side. Take the business side when it needs to. Have your emotions under control. But also be the mother, the nurturing type. You let your inner child out. You know when to do it. That's quite beautiful. That card, the meaning. Now you have destiny delivers. What you see is only part of the story that is unfolding for you. You've been visualizing, praying and taking action. And yet everything remains the same. The more you push forward trying to make things happen faster, the greater is your inner resistance. Release your control and, as you let go, you will open yourself up to receive generous divine bounty. All the small acts of kindness you've offered to those in need have created a channel of good experiences to flow to you. Wonderful surprises, unexpected manifestations and blessings will be on their way to you now. You are beginning to acknowledge be acknowledged for acting as an angel to others. Boom! Recognition. There you go. It's like the waterfall. It all comes at once. Boom! But it is up to you if you are going to mope around feeling sorry for yourself. And that's the three of hearts. Share a problem aired is a problem shared. And beauty will be turning into your little own world from the divine and the angels I really have loved this reading uh, actually this week it's been absolutely phenomenal the readings have been really beautiful positive and joyous and yours is one of the best okay Virgo take care and enjoy this week and be blessed stay safe please share and like thank you God bless